Hey everyone, Daniela Benita and Cabrina Bianca here. Today we're going to be diving into hair photography. Social media has turned our hair world upside down and now we need to be pros behind the camera. We hope you guys like this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you never miss a video with us again. Without further ado, let's get into some of our hair photography tips. Four go-to shooting techniques. When you are shooting your client's hair, don't be afraid to get up close and personal. Dive into all the gorgeous details and tones that you have just created. You can also leave a little white area to create more lightness and interest to the photo by adding your hand or a hair tool. Do you always feel like you take the same hair photo? Try taking your phone or camera and turn it in different ways. Step back and shoot. Change the level of your body and move your position. Client selfies using Snapchat. Most of our clients will not be camera ready when they come to the salon. So give them a cute filter to help them feel more confident. Download Snapchat and press the face tool to immediately add some fun to your photos. There is also a dual face feature to include you in the pictures that connects you and your client even more. Instagram is the best tool for stylists to get inspired. If you see a picture you love, save it here. Then when you're about to shoot your client, click on your Save Photos tab and let the ideas flow. There are so many ways to pose your clients and to make the hair look amazing. Now that we explained some of our favorite shooting techniques, let's move on to three go-to tools we use to shoot. Soft boxes. You can get these specific soft boxes off of Amazon. They add natural light to your photos when you don't have it. They also make your photos look super soft and diffused, which is great for skin and hair. iPhone. This is what I use mostly for all my photos. The best result is with natural light, so stand your clients in front or side of the window. You want to click on your client's face or hair that you want to be focused. Shoot a lot of photos by holding down the camera button. Push down on the screen and then up to adjust the lighting from darker to lighter. Tripod with iPhone holder. We don't always have someone to assist us when it comes to our photos. That's when we use this tripod that has a handy phone grip attachment. Open the mouth and let it snap shut to hold your phone into place. You can use this for video, photos, and get the angles and shots you need. Those were some awesome tips. Next, let's talk about... Snug. Organize your photos to create a cohesive feed that represents your best work. Import a couple photos and move them around to see what looks best. Instagram is your portfolio, and the more organized, the better your business will look. Next we have Facetune. I love using this app to correct my client's skin. Use the smooth button to erase any lines or imperfections. You can also erase what you have done in case it looks a little too edited. Another great thing to do is to white out the background in your photos. Click the Whiten tool and rub your finger all over the area you want to be more whitened. This will make your background look extra clean and really pop. Next we have Lightroom and Presets. You can purchase presets to edit your photos and to add a uniform color scheme. I mostly use presets for any Instagram content I shoot that isn't hair related. I'm going to copy the filter here and then paste it onto my image. You can also adjust the settings to whatever you like to make the photo exactly how you want it. I'll link where I bought these filters and Lightroom below. We hope you love these tips and tricks and we can't wait to see how this helps amplify your Instagram and your photos, so please remember to tag us. If you have any other questions, please feel free to comment below or on our Instagram at Danielle Benita and Cabrina Bianca. Thank you all so much for watching and don't forget to stick around and watch some more of our videos. If you haven't already subscribed, click that button below. We'll see you guys on the next one. Love you guys, see you soon. Bye. Bye.